Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Pimentel and I'm a flight attendant for an airline in the United States. I'm also a pilot and I'm also a certified flight instructor. I just got my CFI rating a week ago and I know I mentioned it in my last video towards the end because this is when I recorded it, but I am so, so happy. I feel such a relief lifted off of my shoulders and I just feel like I accomplished something great. So therefore I'm super happy, but I am working for about two weeks before I start my certified flight instructor for my instrument rating. So that's your CFII. And once I get done with that one, I'm honestly not gonna have any more ratings that I'm gonna need to have check rights for until I do my ATP, which is your a airline transport pilot one where you do at 1500 hours. So I'm gonna have quite some time off before I have another check ride. So I just have to get this CFII and then that one and then yeah, so that's very exciting. But anyway, I am at the airport right now. I'm in Miami International at the parking lot and I am gonna go into work. I have one leg today, just one leg to Dallas and then tomorrow is a little bit longer, but I will see you guys on the plane. <laughs> We are downtown, so it's actually quite a nice location and a really nice hotel. Um, but I did not have any time to record anything when I was working earlier because I was position number one. So I was working first class and as soon as I got on the plane, it was busy. So I am meeting up with Dalton. I am not even going to try and surprise guest show him because I feel like every time I'm in Dallas, I see Dalton. So that's kind of why I try to work flights here because I like to get to hang out with him. So anyway, I'm going to change, probably going to either go to the gym right now or meet up with Dalton right away. And then I will see what we end up doing. But this area is super cute. I've never actually been to downtown Fort Worth for a layover. I've always just stayed in Dallas by the airport. And yeah, that's it. So I might go to the stockyards. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll, but I will take you guys guys along and I'll show you what we do. Good morning, everyone. So I definitely did not record anything last night after I hung out with Dalton. I ended up starting watching a show on Netflix and just kind of chilled the rest of the day. But anyway, I am here. It is 4.30, flight's supposed to be at five. Unfortunately, there is some kind of outage going on like nationwide with like cyber thing. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, we're having a difficulty um, actually getting a hold of the flight plan and making sure that the status of the aircraft is all good to go. So our flight is a little bit delayed until further notice. So it is 4.33 and I am tired, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm just gonna drink some coffee and hopefully wake up while this delay is occurring. Should be great. All right, everybody, it is a new day, new flight. I'll explain later. <laughs> All right, everyone. So it is a new day. I'm on a new trip on a new layover. So I'm actually in Indianapolis. It is about one o'clock in the morning. We got in a little late, but I'm working a three day. What you saw me doing before was I was with Dalton in Dallas. And then I basically worked three legs that day. Kind of didn't really record anything. Um, that was the day that there was like a power IT outage with Microsoft and all that stuff that was going on with all of the IT issues. But luckily I didn't really get affected. It was just back-to-back -back flights and I didn't really have a chance to record anything. So I just forgot. 
And now I am on any trip. So I had one day off and now I am working another three days. So it is a one leg today with just Miami to Indianapolis. And then tomorrow we go to LA and then I have two legs the last day and then I end up getting back in Miami. So easy breezy, beautiful cover girl, no complaints here. Crew is really nice. And um, the flight was just a little bit delayed due to um, somebody ended up calling out sick and they had to like, last minute find a flight attendant. So it was a little bit late. But other than that, everything was good. And yeah, it's a little late now because it's one in the morning. So I am going to go to sleep soon. But I wanted to show you guys what I meal prepped for this trip. All right. So I have some fruit in this little container with uh, cantaloupe and some strawberries. I also have more fruit here because it was on sale, but some nectarines and also some plums. Then we have chicken, Greek salad, some more Greek salad, um, some overnight oats, two servings of cottage cheese in here, and some little like bagel, wheat thin bread, and an avocado. So all of this here is what will last me for probably a couple days, but so all of this here should last me for I would say at least tomorrow, at least, right? Tomorrow and the next day, but we'll see. It's really a two day, although it's a three day. My sign-in was at 8 p.m. today, so it's kind of just a two day. Like I'm not gonna eat anything now, I'm gonna go to bed. And I didn't really eat much on the flight, so it'll be easy, it'll be fine. Um, that should be enough food. And if it's not, I'll buy something at the airport. But anyway, just wanted to meal prep a little bit something. People are always like, oh, I don't know what to meal prep. And I'm like, just meal prep what you have. Like you have, bagel thins at your house meal prep that and have cottage cheese with it or something and bring an avocado eat it eat the avocado by itself i don't know it's just really all about like saving money and trying to stay healthy you know what i mean so you just kind of have to do what you can with what you got it doesn't have to be a specific meal plan or a specific um way that the food looks or have a specific containers or anything like that just kind of meal prep what you have and then call it a day Okay, I am calling it a day now because I'm going to bed. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, all alive. The devil's in the detail in good inside. Oh, a holy crime. But how can I hide you without an alibi? It's a Good morning, everyone. So as you can see, it is the next day. I am on a run. I am actually quite shocked at how cute the downtown area is here in Indianapolis, but I didn't realize there was like a cute little waterfront. This is my first time actually getting to explore the city and I love going for runs when I am exploring new cities. So, so far, so good, very cute. I love stumbling upon like cute little areas. Um, my run is definitely gonna take a lot longer because I keep stopping to record stuff and take pictures, but no worries, I'm enjoying this. And this is a great way to see a new city is layover running. All right, I'm gonna finish my run now. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am so sorry I did not record anything after I got back from my run and then I went for a little walk after I went and got a coffee. I went to this like little donut shop, didn't get a donut, but I figured I'd record it and just got a coffee. And yeah, then we went to the airport. The flight was actually delayed two hours. So our pickup went from 3.30 to 5.20. And then we got there, it was delayed another 30, 45 minutes. And then we got to LA and now we have less, like our layover is literally 10 hours and one minute. So it's minimum layover. Our minimum layover time is 10 hours. So the fact that it's 10 hours and one minutes is just kind of 
kind of ridiculous to be honest because it's such a short layover, but it is what it is. Our pickup is at 655. It also took forever for the transportation shuttle to get us from the airport to the hotel. So it's really shorter than 10 hours, but whatever. There's really nothing we can say we can do because it's blocked out at 1001. So it is what it is. But anyway, I am going to shower and go to sleep because our pickup is at 655 and it's already 9.50 here, so it's I'm not gonna get much sleep. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be a long day, and I will talk to you then. All right, everyone. I'm here to just create a quick outro for this video. So you just saw two separate flight attendant work trips that I was on. And number one trip was basically me working a two day to Dallas where I got to see Dalton, but that was the day where there was a crazy system, IT software outage malfunction nationwide problem. And basically my flights that day only got messed up in the very early morning. So we stayed on the exact same plane for all three legs that we had to do and luckily it was just one hour delay but we did have issues with that hour because we couldn't see the flight plan we didn't know if the airplane had been serviced if it was good to go and we also weren't able to basically get the computer running to board the passengers but after an hour everything was fixed so I got really lucky and didn't really experience um, that much chaos like at all and the whole day went pretty smoothly after that initial delay so but due to our initial delay because we were on the same plane the rest of the day all the other flights that we had were also delayed about an hour um i ended up getting home about an hour later than i was originally supposed to but like i said not the big of a deal if anyone did go through any of this crazy chaos that did occur because of this outage i am so sorry i feel terrible for you and i hope that by now everything is up and back to normal because i know that some airlines took a pretty big hit with this outage the second work trip that you saw was just a three-day with a fun layover in Indianapolis where I got to run and see the city which was fun but at the end of that trip it was quite a long delay as well we got to Philly and Philly was actually a chaos so many delays there so many people in the terminal it was you could barely walk without like running into someone and yeah it was about a two-hour delay there so our layover was a 10 hour layover the night before. And then the last day was like a 12, 13 hour duty day. So it was a long day, but overall the first two days of the trip was easy. Just that short layover with long duty day and delays the next day really got me tired. So I did not record anything and just, just was hanging out with the crew. But anyway, crew was awesome. So I got lucky there, but that's it for this video. I appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Beijing, ciao, ciao.